I see Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Gritters. And I have recently been making lots of pumpkin costumes for my Sylvanians in time for Halloween. So today I'm going to dress up my figures in all the costumes, some are handmade and some are actual Sylvanian ones. Firstly, here is Justin Caramel wearing one of the outfits I made. It's pretty simple, just a bright orange gown. It's gathered at the top and I embroidered a happy pumpkin face on the front. I made another costume like this in my most recent video, so here's that one on Ethan Woodbrook the Beaver. I did tighten the neck a bit after making it, so I think it looks better now. The face is meant to have fangs to make it different to the other one. Okay, so I have some handmade full outfits to show. I'm going to start with these ones, which are official Sylvanian. So this romper is from the Trick or Treat Parade set. It's quite structured and elasticated at the top and bottom. I have asked the Willow here to wear it. He's from the Waterside Swing set. And I need to take off the flower outfit. And pop him into the pumpkin outfit. Okay there. This is a cute romper and the leafy colour is sweet too, but I've always found this outfit a bit lacking. So here I've wrapped a tiny elastic band with a strip of green felt and I thought this could go on Asta's ear like this. Greens don't match exactly and I could do something a bit more fancy with some extra time, but it'll be fine for now. Right, next I have Bran Highbranch, the giraffe baby. And he is already looking a bit pumpkin-y with his orange romper. But I thought he could be improved with this mask or headpiece. It's elasticated on the back and from one of the older Halloween sets. So if I just put this on his head... Huh. Feels a bit wrong calling this a costume given it's his regular outfit and one accessory. But it's just an easy outfit. I'm going to make use of an existing outfit again with Jason Osborne from the Baby Seashore Friends blind bags. He's dressed as a lobster with the gloves and headband, but the romper is a perfect shade of orange. And it's a shiny, satiny fabric. The only problem is this tail on the back, so I'll need to do something about that. I made a little cape out of orange felt and tried to make it more interesting with the green blanket stitch around the top. I didn't come up with this pattern. It's from this instruction sheet for Harvest Festival costumes. I just traced around this cape here. I remember this originally came in one of the collector magazines, but was in the spring newsletter from Sylvanian storekeepers. So I'm hoping I can tuck the tail up underneath the cape. Put that on. I'm doing up the tiny button too. Uh, there we go. The tail out of the way. I made a little headband for Jason too, to look like the top of a pumpkin. So a small green stalk on top, and then I tried to make this be adjustable, just with a long bit of embroidery thread. It can be tightened like this to hopefully fit on any figure. There, just tighten it up. Okay, perfect. He definitely doesn't look like a lobster anymore. The button on the cape isn't great, but this was easy to make. And the headband was a complete guess, but I think it turned out well. So let's move away from the babies for a moment. This is the sunny rabbit child who I've put in dungarees from the beetle that dances on Etsy. He won't need this outfit for the costume, which is this big pumpkin. I had fun thinking of how many ways I could make a pumpkin, so I wanted to make a big 3D one to make use of the thick felt I had. I drew a large pumpkin shape for the front, and we've got side panels too and the back overlaps and are secured with velcro. This is quite messy though, so don't look too closely. But yeah, the rabbit can go in here. Okay. And I tried a different style headband, just with some elastic instead, and hopefully enough stretch in here to keep it in place. Just pop that on, and straighten it. Oh, nice. This costume would definitely be a bit cumbersome to wear in real life, but it's fine for the Sylvanians. Okay, now for a newborn, which I had fun creating costumes for. This is Flora Chocolate in a red wrap. 
and I wanted to make a grumpy looking pumpkin costume for her. So French knots for the eyes and a zigzag mouth. There's a little cut in the back to make this easier to get on. So the wrap can be put to one side. And there we go. Another slightly goofy costume that wouldn't work if you actually wore it, but definitely fun for the baby Sylvanians. Oops. Okay, keep her up against the bigger one. Let's stick the newborns with Edward Marshmallow. Typically, newborns wear a fabric wrap, so I thought cutting out an orange one would make an easy outfit. Let's get that on Edward. Okay. To go with that, I made a tiny pumpkin mask. So this is elasticated on the back, and I sewed on a little face too. That should go on like this. There we go. Again, this was just a case of cutting out a pumpkin shape and sewing the details on. For another newborn costume, I wanted to go full pumpkin, with a little hole cut out for the baby's face. It sews around the edge and is plain on the back. Then a little green stalk on top. And this is going to be for Drake Husky. So taking off his wrap, then he should just slide in. Okay, this is my first thought for a pumpkin costume. I've definitely seen other people make ones like this before, but it just looks so cute. And finally, I have Monica Montana, the latte cat. I love her usual outfit, so I wanted to give her a nice costume too. For something a bit different, I chose not to use felt, so I bought this slightly deeper colour orange ribbon. It's nice and shiny and super smooth. Unfortunately, this does fray really easily, so I had to heat the end over a flame. And this was more tricky to work with, so I ended up making a skirt and kind of top piece rather than a dress. This skirt is made from folded over ribbon with elastic around the top. And this is a small piece of ribbon I folded and sewed to get the shape right. That can go on. And tuck into the skirt. And I think that now looks like a fancy little dress. Monica deserves some accessories. So I made a tiny friendship bracelet in Halloween colours to go on her wrist. There we go. And I copied the headpiece I put on Bran in felt too. The colours don't match exactly, but this was more experimental and I think it worked out okay. The top could be better, but I like the skirt. And that is it for the pumpkin costumes. Let's bring them more central. There we go. A nice selection of pumpkins. I don't think I'm that good at making outfits, but I'm quite happy with most of these. I think my favourite one is Drake Huskies, or maybe the Sunny Rabbit outfits for the technical side. None are perfect costumes, and there's certainly room to improve, but I mainly wanted to see what I could actually create from cheap materials. The felt was only 40p, and I've used maybe half of it, Then the ribbon and velcro were from my local market and didn't cost much either, so these weren't expensive crafts. But thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you inspiration if you want to make your own costumes for Sylvanians. And if you like Sylvanian Family's content, then subscribe to my channel, as I post videos every week about everything Sylvanian. I'll be posting one more Halloween video, and then we'll be back to the usual news, hauls, and unboxings.